high school I went to Mission High School in San Francisco back in the 60s during those times of the Vietnam War, the race riots. At that time in my life, I was healthy and strong. You know, I played football, swam on the football team. I mean, swam on the returning team. Wasn't the best. I knew I wanted to go to college, so I thank God I was a good student. And I guess later on in life when I did finish high school and I started college at San Francisco State, I went to, I was feeling sick all these years for high school, when I was in high school. And I finally had to go see a doctor about this. It was really bad. The headaches, the shaking in my body. And when I went to a doctor at the Student Health Center, this is in 1972, they referred me to UC Hospital. And I was having these terrible headaches I was having. Anyway, when I went to the doctor at UC Hospital, that was in March, February, they brought me in to the hospital in March. For one whole month, they did all kind of testing on me, neurological testing, and it was so painful. But the doctors told me I had this condition called Arnold Chiari syndrome. And the only thing they could do for me was surgery. No medicine could help me. And I just asked them, well, when I get rid of my headaches, yes, it will, but there's a risk to all of this. You might become, you know, you might die on the table, or you might become paralyzed, or but for the good part, you might be so successful that you're gone the rest of your life, no problem. That was the only part I heard. And I said, hey, it's going to be okay. The doctor goes, yeah. Well, I went in, and they had their surgery. That was in April. And when I woke up in the morning of surgery, I was, I couldn't move, only my eyes. Uh-oh, now it's getting kind of scared here. And uh, when I, as the days went by, all I, I couldn't move. And I was so scared that all this I've been a Christian all my life. And my talking with God was every day, what's going on, Lord? What's going on? And, um, but, I mean, that's what kept me going. Become no great job, so I was so scared. Cried a lot. And I was by myself, just cried. Lord, help me do something with my life. That was like my prayer for the next four years. At age 17, just keep praying, Lord, help me do something. Do something with my life. It's like I have to start all over again. And with that, that prayer and that thought in mind, all the time I'm I prepared to go back to college. I grew up in Honolulu, Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, I had so much fun growing up in Hawaii, enjoying the mountains, the beaches, the rivers. My friends and I used to spend time in the mountains just playing Tell as children. We did a lot of like camping up in the mountain. Summertime was full of swimming in the rivers with my friends. It never occurred to me in my life that someday I'm going to be paralyzed. Never. It happened to me when I went to the UC hospital and the doctor told me about this surgery and warned me about the risk. And I didn't even hear that part. The only part that registered with me was you're going to make full recovery on the rest of your life, normal and healthy. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't hear about the paralyzed part or dying on the table part. Maybe if I did, I would have said no. <laughs> but all I know is after I went through all this, is like uh, today I look back at it and 
It's okay. The Lord called me through all these things. It's okay. 76. <laughs> At San Jose State. San State. Oh my gosh. But during that time, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of ups and downs, periods of depression. Yeah, there's times I think, oh, God's going to bring me through this. It's going to be okay. God's going to help me do this. He said, if I, if I ask whatever I ask for in prayer, He'll do it for me. I read something in the Bible, like whatsoever you ask for in prayer, I'll do it for you. See, Seek the kingdom of God. Seek that first, and everything will be added onto you. I said, oh, that means he's gonna restore my health. So I focused on it and prayed, prayed, prayed. Nothing happened, more depression. It was just, life was really, really bad. I said, oh, drive this chair right, don't hit that tree. Well, watch out for that pump. I had to learn how to approach ramps to get into buildings. And, and I remember one of the scariest things that first week. I started school early in the morning around 7.30. I'll be at school. I, I got to the door, no one was there to open the door. So I sat there and said, this looks really stupid. <laughs> it, it's so cold and I'm sitting outside this building. I said, everybody's watching me. The problem is, what's wrong with that guy? So I pretended like I was looking at the flowers. <laughs> I was looking at the sky. I don't want to go to that building, I'm just looking around. And I said, oh Lord, send somebody to open this door. A couple minutes later, somebody, I heard the door. I turned around. Oh, you want to come in? Oh, yeah, I'll come in now. <laughs> and, then while, and while I was driving in, this poor guy's his foot, I guess, was sticking out too far, and I ran over his foot. I heard him say, ouch! I said, oh my God, yeah, I'm, guy's nice enough to open the door for me, and I ran over his foot. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And the guy said, oh no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm all right. I felt so bad. And I turned around and go in, and I turned and looked back, so I'm walking away. Poor guy's limping. And I said, oh Lord, this poor man was so nice to open the door for me. I started saying, Lord, this is on Christmas time, 1972. I'm gonna need an apartment, Lord. And I was praying, no, 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 or 76. Yeah, Christmas or 76. I started praying. Lord, I'm going to need an apartment. And I described the apartment. I need a two bedroom apartment.